That's a big boy. Some weirdos behind us. story about the railroad back in the 19 tickety twos teens there's a guy that not san diego he lived in san francisco and he ended up moving to san diego and he just fell in love with the place hey man he started to uh kind of develop things and buying up businesses and all kinds of stuff and then he had this idea that san diego could actually be a really vital and important shipping to uh the united states he had this vision this idea that he could run a railroad from san diego california on into yuma arizona it was deep deemed the impossible railroad. But he was like me. When somebody tells him, it can't be done, he says, watch me. Can't build there. He built this railroad called the San Diego, Arizona Railroad. 13 years, be 200 miles, I wanna say, worth of track. Because of the fact that they were such old railroad systems, you know, everything was steam. You get a steam locomotive moving and pulling, pulling, pulling really hard. They put out a bunch of sparks. They would catch the timbers on fire and then the tumble, tunnels would collapse. They built a trussle bridge, 200 feet high, wooden railroad trussle bridge. It was pretty freaking awesome. I'd like to see it, so we'll go see it. Why not? Well, look, our friends made it. Some weirdos behind us, pushing us along, trying to get the freak out of the way. See if I can botch this real hard. Uh, Dos Cabezas. Mm -hmm. Looks like Swampy 23. Mm -hmm. This is a water tower that they used to use for steam locomotives. So you have to refill the water. Basically, from what I understand, what they would do is they would hire somebody. They would station them out here at these places and they would maintain the water system. They'd make sure that, that thing stayed full. They'd live in their little place. They'd have a little office. They'd be in charge of a section of rack, a rack, a section of track. That's what our railroad motor car was actually designed for. So this is where they would have stored it. Before that, they had pumpers. The, the ones you see in Bugs Bunny cartoons. And then they had the pumpers that were three wheel. It was like a bike and it had a little leg off to one side with one wheel off to one side. And before that three wheeled hand pumper, you know what they did? Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of efficiency they lost noticing claws though. Mm -hmm. Because how fast do you typically walk? Four miles an hour? And mm -hmm. if you don't have a keen eye, <laughs> keen balls. If your balls are faded, <laughs> then you missed stuff along the tracks. Mm -hmm. And if you missed stuff along the tracks, you know what happened? The train derailed. And you know what happened if the train derailed? Bring out your dead <laughs> one. No, I'm, I'm not dead. As a best worst case scenario, they had all kinds of repairs they had to do. They had to they had to re-rail the train and they lost hours and hours and hours of time as well as countless dollars. 
Look at how rusted away that is. Nobody freaking created that manually with sunscreen or some garbage. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sunscreen. No, Dylan, this this isn't sunscreen. <laughs> this is this this real rough. Mother Nature. What's Dylan doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You don't need no reverse. We're helping with the ozone or some damn thing. Mm -hmm. Look, it's a jumping cacti. <laughs> don't touch it. Brakes. One eternity later. Oh boy. Little rocks there. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it up there. <laughs> Stay. Stay. What do you mean you're blind? You, you can't see me right now? No! But you can still see, like, the stove and laundry, right? You shall not pass! It was okay. It was, oh, it was acceptable. Unacceptable! Prohibi dobby do. do 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 do. <laughs> found a thing. We found a thing here and we're curious about how many rattlesnakes are inside of it. Drive shaft. That's a greaser. That thing rotates the shaft somehow and runs a pump. And <clears throat> that's why there was so much grease on it inside of the racks on those tunnels. Mm -hmm. So guys would come out here on machines like that mm -hmm. with a five gallon bucket of grease and that bucket would have been a pail back in the day, not a bucket, not a plastic bucket, an actual metal pail. A tin one. And they'd have dumped it all in there. Plate of 1924. All aboard! Off we go then. We came, we saw, we conquered. We did? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Wheel spin. There's a bunch of different canyons through here. And I don't remember the name of them are, except for the Goat Canyon. That other canyon we just saw where that little oasis of palm trees was, yeah. was one of the canyons that has its own name. Off to our right will be the Goat Canyon. Big boy. Is there a freaking uh, bottle jack in that locker? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the jack. I oh. told you, in the freaking locker. It's gonna take <laughs> teamwork. There's a big boulder on the tracks. How's Merlin ever gonna thank us that is good if we don't give him the there, chance? Sir. We'll Jeez. get our freaking tools out. We'll walk on ahead and see if we can see the thingy. The big thingy. Big bear. He's iron tough. Definitely wrong, brought, brought the wrong uh, hiking boots. He brought the mowing the lawn dad shoes. Look at that. 
I see it. Look at that. Oh, look at, oh, look at, oh, look at that. Thank don't, you. don't put that in the video, Dylan. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this dangerous thing we've done. Look at it. Oh, no. With one little antique jack. Oh, yeah, you can. We're going to put more rocks get, on the track. Get some of those. To get a rock off the track. <laughs> Everywhere we go, freaking whirly birds. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a horrific sound you've made. Sorry. It's freaking scary. It's fetching scary. It's farfin nugan. It's flirk a dirkin scary. Uh huh. Ooh, that's a little spindity. Yeah, I just had to seat though. Just be real careful if that thing comes back at you. Jump all the way. There's a scribbian under there. Yeah? We're ruining his house? We have freaking made him mad. Watch for him, he might come flying out of the other side. <laughs> In a fit of rage? Guess what? It's getting lighter. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just got heavier. Oh, you need a bigger rock over here. <laughs> I can't believe they're not here yet. I can't believe it's not butter. Mm. <sighs> Cheers. Yes. This buzzard is shaking us already. That's freaking it, dude. Yeah. The sucker's going over. We're moving a giant triangle rock. It's a freaking Tesla cyber rock. <laughs> it is a cyber rock. We're leaving it right there. Until they get here. Back into the tunnel we go. Much, much, much later. Railroad speeders, you guys are welcome. Uh -huh. We're going to move your boulder. Yep, it's going to be gone now. The hard work. They said it couldn't be done. So, yeah, you're welcome, speeders. <laughs> you don't have to take your little plywood uh, Home Depot wheels around the big rock no more. You can just uh, zoom on through. <laughs> Which is so. exactly what we're going to do. That is a steep freaking down. I don't <laughs> want to hike down there. I don't want to climb down that. It looks like work. We've already worked too much. Cut, 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 cut. And Aroni. What's the O with the circle? How do you pronounce an O with a circle through it? All day to clear. Let's look the last of the seven sisters around the corner. Guess we're hiking to the bridge after all. Way out there in the distance. Bottom 
right there is 200 feet. Yeah, oh yep, that's it. I'm terrified right now, but I feel so alive. <laughs> I hope I can get back up on the other side. Yeah, I don't think I'm going the full length. Oh, come on. I walked on the catwalk. Does This is all loose. Ooh, I want to go to the end. You can turn back. Oh man. I'm going to the end. Well, uh, it's like a... I told you. It's like a roller coaster, but scarier. It's scary. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't think I'm going all the way either. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. I don't know what's out there. I gotta run, I gotta run Dylan. I gotta get away from the witches. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> I'm, I'm holding this and it's crumbling in my hands. We went out onto the scary part. Now let's go back up to ignorant safety. This is not a safe grid. I lived. I barely lived. I can cross the bridge. <sighs> we, found, we found these guys out here and, and, and they hitchhiked. They hitchhiked. We got hitchhikers. We didn't charge them anything. We yeah. gave them a bottle of water. We felt bad. They were thirsty. Walking all day. It yeah. feels like all day we've been walking. The good news is there wasn't snow. Yeah. <laughs> they say those cars over there are full of coarse beer. Coarse beer. Huh? The guy said, <laughs> there is a spot right there. It's your call. If you want to turn it around, we can we can manhandle it. I say no because I don't want to do anything. But I'll work if I have to. Dri driving off into the sunset on the rails. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out on the motor car lounge. Like and subscribe, I suppose, if you want. <laughs> I am so glad we no came here and did this. None at all. No regrets. Like that. Seeing that bridge up there. That just throwing your socks off. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. yeah, it was rugged. Some of the most <laughs> rugged terrain I've ever seen or been in in my life. And the only way to get there is either hike yep. or run off these here iron rails. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you guys. Yep. And uh, have a safe trip back to Cedar City. We're going to put the throttle pedal down and uh, go back to the snow. You know it ain't <laughs> over yet. Uh, yeah, it is Cedar City. <laughs> All Thanks right, for everyone. watching, everybody. Yep.